boy. We got an AC down. Line feels way hot, but it could actually just be the summer heat. Oh, same temperature as the one next to it. They've turned off. Um, fan motor is running. It's uh, only like 115, 112 maybe. Our wiring appears intact. Compressor does not feel hot, so that's good. Contactor points look a little burned. Capacitor looks way tired. Also, we got a looks like the capacitors have been definitely replaced before. That contactor seems suspect. Well, our wiring's okay. So this one was kind of interesting. The uh, air conditioner, the fan motor was working, but the compressor was not working. What it actually turned out to be um, was a burned wire, and you can watch the uh, whole video if you want to and check it out, uh, the entire procedure troubleshooting it. The interesting part was that the fan motor was actually working. It was running and everything, and no problem. Um, but when I tested it, the uh, microfarads were at 50% of what they should have been. They were at about uh, 2.5, and it's a 5 microfarad capacitor, which has a rating plus or minus 5%. So um, just kind of interesting that it was actually still running, even though it wasn't running properly. What can happen in that type of situation is the fan motor might run, but as it's not running in its proper uh you know, uh, the fan rotation speed and everything not going properly, it can be not removing enough heat from the compressor. And either the fan motor can overheat or the compressor can overheat, and then it can cause other problems, cause high amp draw, uh, cause burned wiring, um, cause just inefficiency in cooling altogether, can cause motor bearings to go out as the unit overheats or thermal switches to switch off either at the compressor or the fan motor, either one. Um, so kind of interesting, I just happened to check this one. <clears throat> and I kind of like just sometimes going in and replacing the capacitors uh, when they look suspect or when I think that they're bad. Um, some people have faulted me for this, but but you don't always know. I mean, sometimes the, the uh, capacitor can have developed an internal weakness um, that can give at any time and give you a no cool call later on. So sometimes it's just preventative maintenance replacing the capacitors and they're relatively inexpensive compared to the rest of the system. So sometimes it's worth so doing. Take this clip off and it carries up here. Hopefully that's a decent view here. And I can just replace the Hard stuff can at the same time since we're doing a new contactor here. Again, we've discharged our capacitor holding only the insulated handle of the screwdriver and bridge in the leads. So there we go there. And we can actually measure this capacitor. Hard start kit. Actually, looks like a new hard start kit. But I'll um, set this to microfarads. We'll take a reading on the capacitor. It takes a second to build up, but we're showing like two. That's a bad cap. Okay, now I'll show you on the new cap. Thirty-five. Yeah, you know it's thirty-five plus or minus five percent. You 
can check out my video. I need to make it still actually, but uh, I'm going to make it on what that actually means, tolerances uh, for the capacitors. Um, anyway, here it goes. So we've got our common on one side, and we want to make sure these are nice and tight, our leads. Here's our yellow start wire on the other side. Then we've got our fan wire on the wire coming up over here. Put it right there. And that's nice and tight. This one is a little loose. I'm going to crimp it down just a tiny bit. The easiest way to do that there. Okay. And this is hanging a little bit, so I'm actually going to strap this in along with uh, the uh, fan capacitor here. And just just because this one has so rust on it, so much rust on it, I'm going to go ahead and replace this one. Little five microfarad capacitor. Got a new hard start kit. There's our new hard start kit. I'll hang the hard start kit under right here. New five microfarad capacitor, and I need a cable tie. And what I really like is these military grade cable ties. You know, out here in the sun, stuff takes a beating big time. So I like these big strap in military grade cable ties. There we go, nice and tight, and I can always replace one or the other very easily. Okay, now we'll run our fan leads, our capacitor. Nice and tight there. This one, tiny, tiny bit. Could be a tiny bit tighter. And now it is. Okay, there we go. Make sure nothing's going to jump around on us. Okay, ready to test it out. Just for the heck of it, um, show you the microfarad test on this capacitor. Since we're already set here. This one tested at 2.4. So even though it was working on the fan motor, that's 50%. I mean, it's a five microfarad, you know, it had lost half of its deal. So I think that was the right call there. Once again, this can be a situation where the capacitor can just fail at any time and also cause other problems. So, you know, replacing the capacitors for preventative maintenance, in my opinion, just not too big a deal. I'm sure some people disagree with me, but uh, once again, you know, when you talk about the strain and stress on the system and everything else under certain situations, you know, capacitors aren't too expensive in the whole scheme of things. So some, sometimes it's just better replacing them. Okay, for more detail, check out this video uh, in its entirety. I um, titled it uh, AC Fan Motor Working Outside, but... Um, AC outside fan running but air conditioner not cooling repair video um, so check out that video coming like really soon like right after this one um, check it out uh, it kind of goes into more detail on this and on testing the amp draw um, so you can see that kind of the whole troubleshooting procedure it's a uh, real-time repair video so check it out 
Again, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and uh, tell a friend or send it to a friend, see what they think, and um, subscribe if you haven't done already. Helps me do what I do and make more videos uh, just like this one. Okay, it's fired up. Let's see what happens. Oh, it's a beautiful sound, I tell you.